All right guys, welcome back to another episode on the flyway. And today I'm gonna build a decoy trailer and I'm gonna show you how to make your decoy trailer go from this to this. If you guys already have an enclosed trailer for your waterfowl gear, if you're looking to get one, you're looking for maybe designs for storage, um, that's what this video is gonna be all about. So if you can see, I've kind of just ran it raw for the last two years. Uh, no shelves, decoy cart, eight layout blinds, panel blinds, everything. And as you can see, everything just barely fits in there that way. And it's just a big pile. So uh, we live in the Pacific Northwest, so humidity and general moisture here is Pretty ridiculous. So airing out your trailer, giving everything room to breathe, and then just general organization. So what we're gonna do and our plan today is we're gonna build shelves all along the left side uh, for dive bomb bags, any decoy bags, and the way I'm gonna design them is where you can put two deep, and then within, when it's all said and done, just on the shelves, you can fit 150 dozen. And it should just give everything a little more room, a little more organization, and that way we can keep everything in there year round, not have to shuffle stuff around per hunt depending on what we're gonna need or anything like that. So follow along, we'll give some helpful tips, we'll share our plan ideas. Total cost in materials, I'm at like 250 bucks, and that's for the E-Track that goes along the trailer um, and screws into the studs and then all my lumber. Um, and if lumber's cheaper in your area, it could be as little as 120, 150 bucks. So when it's all said and done, we'll have enough shelves to go 10 feet along the left side for all our decoy bags and then so we'll have room for our cart and all our blinds. All right guys, so the first thing we did was unload the trailer, obviously. Um, very next step after that is we're gonna level the trailer. Yeah, and we can assume that once the trailer's level, if we're measuring off the floor on both sides, if the trailer is built correctly, which we're just gonna assume, that the shelves will be level. So as long as our shelves are 32 inches deep, we're gonna be able to do two bags per. So coming off the wall, it's gonna be 32. And this trailer is about 80 inches wide. Um, so next we're gonna go over to our decoy cart and measure our decoy cart. So this is a decoy cart we built. Um, my buddy Trenton Koffler from Koffler Boats is pretty handy. So we built this up one night in the shop. It actually floats. You can carry like a hundred dozen dive bombs and it's, it's pretty awesome. So uh, the cart's 38. So 38 and 32 is 70. So we should have roughly 10 inches to spare, uh, which is good because basically our brackets are gonna come off the wall two inches. So that's gonna burn two inches on the outside of our shelves, those the outside of those two by four. So that's gonna burn another inch and a half. So that'll give us um, a couple inches to spare when it's all said and done. And I think it should work out pretty good. We're just gonna pull 24 off the top and we're gonna do it in this front section of the trailer. So I'm gonna turn the headline on. I'm gonna pull back. We're gonna have a 10 foot stick of that, of that E-track. Um, so we're gonna divide that by three, which is 3.3. Yeah, 3.3. And that's where our, our studs are gonna be. So um, we're basically just gonna measure every two feet for the first 10 feet just to get judgment lines. Then we're gonna hold up that E-track and screw it on. But the layout's definitely the hardest part. Take time, write down on a piece of paper if you need to, figure everything out. That makes sure, that way you can make sure you don't have to pull stuff off the wall and, and redo it. So take your time laying it out and then it'll all go up pretty quick after that. And if you guys aren't worried about specific shelf heights or everything being perfect to where you can fit a certain amount of everything in there, um, just make sure they're level and then screw them on. So just measure the same distance from the top. Make sure you're measuring from the same place every time and screw them on. So we're gonna find that bottom line. I'm gonna screw it in on the bottom end. And the other thing you have to do is lay out your studs. So usually, um, like if your trailer already has trim in it, you can just look for where they screwed the trim in. Um, it's as easy as that. Then you can just draw the lines up and uh, so we found all our stud lines. They're on 24 inch centers. I'm gonna tack the right end of this E-track, go all the way to the other end and just keep working it down. Um, just make sure it's level the whole way. And then once it's all done, we'll screw the whole thing off and put two screws in each stud. I'll show you guys the screws I got. Um, they're just hex head uh, with a washer built in, one inch screws. So you do, the main thing is you want them long enough to go through that E-track, um, but you don't want them so long that they go through the sidewall of the trailer. So one inch. Uh, self tappers, they use them for steel framing um, on big commercial buildings. These work the best. So that way you don't have to pre-drill all your holes or anything, just get an impact um, and then you're able to suck them right down. 
All right, so next step, we got those E-mounts in, we like them, we got the brackets in, uh, we need the beams coming out. So uh, what we figured is the decoy bags are on average, you know, 14 to 16 uh, deep. So if we wanna be able to stack two uh, depth wise on each shelf, uh, we're gonna need 32 inch. And that's the actual size of the shelf without any of the framing of it. So we gotta cut six of these at 32 inches to stick in there. Um, and that'll still give us room for our decoy cart to go in along the side. So it should work out pretty good. Wear ear and eye protection. So we got the main frame of our shelves down. It worked out great. We're gonna have a couple extra rooms of clearance um, for these bags. And we're gonna be able to go too deep and still have room for our decoy cart and a quad in the front. Um, so with that said, right now, the main frame's done, but these E-brackets, they're, they're structurally uh, I mean, rigid as far as up and down goes, um, but you have to add posts on the front. Um, so what we're also gonna be able to do with that is we're gonna be able to level them. So the posts don't have to go all the way to the ceiling because we're not gonna tie them into the ceiling and we're not even really just gonna toe screw them into the floor. Um, so they basically only have to be as high as your shelf needs to be to be level. Um, so I actually went like eight inches extra because I wanna be able to um, use tie down straps across the front while I drive, um, so no decoys fall out. Um, so it's 25 inches to the bottom of, of that brace right there. Um, so I marked on my post 25 inches. We're gonna hold it next to it, lift it up, till the bottom of the shelf lines up with that mark, screw it in and, and everything will be level. So, and this one I'm just gonna make flush cause I don't need tie down room right here. And that'll make it way easier to reach to the back of these things. You don't have to fight around this post to slide things in. So um, it's all coming together pretty quick. And then once we get these posts, we're gonna add a couple more braces across just so it's a little bit more sturdy. Probably don't even need to. Um, and then we're just gonna sheet it and we'll be all done. And you want to make sure that they're flush across the top like if you run your finger there's no ridges because once we sheet this with plywood um, it's not a huge deal but you just don't want there to be any bumps all the way across so that plywood just sits flat carpenter tip yeah if you don't have a hammer use your expensive impact yeah you can use the butt end of it <laughs> how much are those batteries a lot Honestly, i don't know anymore i think they used to be like 60 bucks but I was forecasting how much this whole build was gonna be and I was telling Chase the screws I used to get were 10 bucks a pound. I got the same exact ones and they're 16.99 a pound. And I was griping like an old man in the middle of the hardware store. And Chase was making fun of me. Every dollar counts. So uh, we got the shelves all done. All we're gonna have to do now is, is uh, load up all the decoys. <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna end up adding like one more E-Track right there, which they make like uh, like yard tool uh, hangers that just clip right into the E-Track. And that way I can do like your rake, your shovel, everything you use for brushing blinds, hedge trimmer, that stuff can go along that wall. Um, but besides that, oh, and then one more on the end here. Um, for bungeeing blinds too. But besides that, that stuff will honestly take probably 30 minutes. Um, we got all this done. Chase showed up to my house at 11.30. We didn't have any materials. It's now 4.10 uh, and we're done. So four and a half hours, including drive time, getting materials, um, coming out to the shop. We got these shelves built. And so it ended up working out great to we'll still be able to fit the cart right here. And in theory, we need to try it. <laughs> if our measurements are correct, we can fit the cart. Um, and we're gonna be able to stack bags two deep and then three along. So, I mean, really, you know, 
And, and that's with some extra room, so I might be able to put one on the end. So you're gonna be able to put six on each row. There's three rows. Um, you guys can do the math. So it should work out pretty good. All right guys, so we got everything built um, on the shelves. We could actually fit more than we thought. There's a hundred dozen dive bombs on here as well as 10 dozen full bodies. So we got a little more out of them than we expected. Um, I need to pick up a couple more things just for like blind storage. Um, I was thinking about putting lockers in the front where the camera is right now um, and everything will be more streamlined. So the cart fits just like we thought. I have a couple extra things in here right now that aren't usually in the trailer. Um, so they're just in the cart, but besides that, every decoy we use to hunt fits on these shelves. And then around the back, we have blinds, which I'll get another track and bungee those to the wall. And then right around the front, we'll have lockers, um, yard tools, things like that, hedge trimmer, and everything will be done. We'll have plenty of room. Everything will have a home, and that way everything gets space to dry out. I'm going to cut a vent in the top. Um, just to let the humidity out in the winter after everything gets rained on and it's ready to hunt now. So this summer, um, instead of releasing some of the waterfowl content we have, which we're going to be, don't worry, we're going to be releasing for you guys in the fall. We're going to be doing a lot of how-to videos, um, tech tips, things like that. Um, we're not a professional in any of it, but just things we've learned along the way. Um, so with this, I decided, you know, I wanted to build some shelves in the trailer to, to better organize the decoys. Um, so I figured bring you guys along for it. Um, so let us know if you guys like stuff like this. We're going to do some stuff on working on the boat, dog training tips, things like that. Decoy spread ideas, calling how to's with strand, um, all of the above. So let us know what you guys want to see any educational type videos and we'll make sure to get them out for you guys this summer. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you two Wednesdays from now.